I want to talk about truth. Um, and I don't know why exactly, other than that I was told to do it. Well, no, you know, it's because I actually think truth is what you are. And if you're sick, if you're unhealthy, if you ate a Big Mac or two or three Big Macs this last week, the truth is sick and the truth is unhealthy. That's the danger of truth. There's no get out of jail free card. You are where you are. And you cannot hide it. You can stress yourself and aim to hide it. And some people won't notice it in the front of their mind. But you can't hide it from yourself. That's why when I'm eating properly, which is barely anything at all, and very natural, healthy fruit, vegetable, grain products, I feel fucking great. And the truth comes out of me. When I fucking go to Taco Bell and get a Burrito Supreme and my stomach sticks out, how can I, th how can I be ha happy that, uh, like, why do I even think that I should be happy in that situation the next day? Like, I don't deserve, I used to eat a lot of fast food and feel like I was still happy, but I wasn't happy because... Uh, because I was always searching for something back then. Now I've come to realize that I, uh, there's nothing to search for, really. When I clear my mind, everything is as it is. Obviously time passes, but I tell you what, I'll experiment with myself and just not breathe for extended amounts of time. I'll do it now. See if you can tell when I'm not breathing. Now I'm cheating because though I haven't done, drawn an, an, an inhale, I had, I just inhaled there. Uh, air was like coming into my nose and definitely the skin of my nose is getting the oxygen and putting it in my bloodstream. And I think this tiny bit of air is like, tiny, tiny bit of air was like going down my nose. But you don't need to breathe, man. You just need oxygen. <sighs> Obviously breathing's susceptible. Uh... I don't know why I said that word just then. Breathing's handy because you get oxygen from it and you get rid of carbon dioxide with it. But you don't need to breathe. You just do breathe. But you don't need to breathe. And it slows down your aging when you don't breathe as much. When you have like a stasis, when your body goes into a stasis. That peace and harmony, like... I used to... My, my voice teacher in college would wake me up. Uh, we'd be doing like voice lessons. He'd be walking around talking. We'd all be like meditating or laying there. And I guess I'd fall asleep. And he would say, you, you don't breathe when you're sleeping. It's called sleep apnea. It's dangerous. I was like, well, that's not really dangerous. I just don't do it. I just don't breathe. I don't, I don't only breathe every once in a while when I sleep, which is probably why I still look like I'm 22 or 24 or whatever. Um... It's a great fucking exercise. And what, what'll happen is you'll start to feel like oxygen depleted and all of a sudden if you calm down, you'll feel normal again. And that oxygen depletion feeling will go dissipate. And then it'll come back again and it'll go away again. And you can really like be in a stasis without taking a breath. And sometimes you'll notice your body is like haphazardly breathing and exhaling like shallow breaths. Stop it. Just cut your breath out. Don't breathe anything. And your body will still try and take that breath. Just, you know, let it. If it fucks up and takes the breath, let it take the breath. But then, you know, don't do not do the shallow breath. Just don't do it. And make your body suffer, basically. Make your body work through it. So it's a workout. It's an exercise. <sighs> Truth, to me, is 
the way I feel in my core, the way I feel everywhere, but really in my core, I, I have so much junk in my stomach. I'm, I'm shy and nervous and upset that I've eaten Taco Bell yesterday. I know it's so bad. Like I went at 12.30 in the morning and got Taco Bell or something and then I came home and had a huge bowl of oats. Truth is, I need to go on like a, a purge, like a, excuse me, <laughs> like a non-eating binge, if you could say. A fast. A slow fast. A drug induced malnourishment. Doesn't always have to be so extreme, Ian. The Ian doesn't have to be so extreme. This video is a bunch of fucking bullshit. It's always when I think it's so bad is when it's actually not always, but when people are like, I really identify with this and they'll pass it to their friends, but to me it's me being a fucking idiot. Look how stuffed up I am right now. It's disgusting. I should be asleep. What am I doing awake right now? It's nonsense. I'm out. I'm out without eye contact.